since the dawn of human civilization, historical accounts of crop circles have come and gone through the ages. Crop circles are famous for lots of reasons, not least their not so mysterious origin. In my expert opinion, I would say people are most fascinated by the different shapes crop circles come in. I have run into many shapes and sizes in my time. Spotty, square-like, Toblerone-all, crab-shaped, longitude. What's that? What's going on? I don't know, Bob. It's just dead. I'll bring it back to life, Keith. Chop, chop. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We shall be on our way very shortly. Excuse me, from where did you get that T-shirt? Oh, Roswell UFO Conference, 1999. Oh. <laughs> I like. You believe? Yes, yes, I do believe. These crop circles are undoubtedly the work of intelligent extraterrestrial life. I'd wager they're a warning that we lie on the brink of our own destruction. <laughs> Why on earth would any alien bother visiting fields in England? Are you really a tour guide? Or a renegade dinner lady? Hate to break it to you, sir, but there is zero physical evidence of any extraterrestrial existence. What are you talking about? This is the work of local grain graffiti artists. Agricultural Banksy, as it were. I'm not complaining. Just did a lot for local tourism, but these people have no friends. They're just pranksters with tape measures and planks. All just to watch the local news and laugh at people in their foil hats. It's protection. From whom? Them. <laughs> they get the feeling you don't like UFO. I take it you're both fresh from the asylum too. No, I read alien erotica mostly. It makes me calm. Here, on tour. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Should we get help? Please, sir, stay calm. Let me play my role while you play yours. Let me just... Dad? Dad, look. Look there, look. Bloody hell. What? <laughs> Me! Get off! What the hell do you think you're doing? Then this is a Jurassic Park! Keith! Get that sudden engine for me! Oh, you are, Bob. Shiza. 